my friend, we're going to do a Pippin Jordan. Um, I'm, I'm here in my spot listening to my tuning forks. You know, this is about hashtag breaking brilliant. I, I want to, to collaborate, make up a new name, but no, you're joining me. In the pilot episode, hashtag breaking brilliant. This is a real thing. We need to do the start November 1st. For, for neither one of us should lose weight or get better or be able to make money because of Thanksgiving and the holidays. If it was not for you, there would be a 90% chance that I would die in the next few months as the winter comes on of malnutrition and neglect. But it's not going to happen because now we're going to co-executive produce the documentary short, hashtag Breaking Brilliant, about how just a few people are going to band together because I'm going to help them stay alive. This, this, my, this is my thing. I'm the philosopher of staying alive. We got you, perhaps B, you know, the, the, the breathing and the um, dealing with, you know, um, the overweight condition. Big deal. Join us. So we're going to um, stop me from having autistic attacks from the slightest smell, many sounds, lots of light conditions, and the social... Mostly I'm going berserk because people treat me like an imbecile and they take away my freedom. I, 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 I can't, I can't. People just, 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 you did, people just immediately go into giving advice without having the slightest idea. Not just merely how to help me. But what I'm even going through, it's preposterousness. We have to solve global warming, the ever escalating burdens of chronic disease and mental illness, which all of that makes people much more prone to injury because the civilization is too much. The civilization of plantation capitalism is an end state genocide, species extinction. Approximately 30 years. It's a philosophically valid argument. You pay me, I'll go into trance and I'll get us some variables. But I don't need to do that because I can also, if you give me this, it's a good thought experiment. How to save our species from self-extincting in 30 years. Hello. 33 million. Right that who quickly. I'll launch the hashtag Wellbeing Philosophy Institute through the Netflix streaming series. Hashtag Breaking Brilliant. Watching how <sighs> deprived I am. And what it takes me to get somebody to listen to me. About the philosophical hypothesis of bioelectromagnetism, which yields the unifying theory of human energy, potential well-being, as body, mind, and soul integrated human functioning. I am the she Sherlock of said quantum physiology. Human functioning. I'm telling a better story than anyone in the Western <laughs> whiteness thought tradition can tell. This is not only going to provide the kind of exponential return on investment that regular spreadsheets can't provide. Only life goes exponential. Stuff multiplies by rules. We're breaking all the rules over here about thinking as if 
we are more our differences than our similarities. We are all the same. We all need more love. We all need the civilization to stop hounding our ass when we are doing the very best. We cannot hustle anymore. You wake up the next day, you need to hustle even again. Because this person's coming at you, that person's... And your body goes into a disease state because of the demands of plantation capitalism, of the workforce world, of how we interact when money is exchanged. We are poisonous to each other when money's involved, and we down none down. We have now done. See, I so backward ass. This hyperlexia goes, which is, which is, this is deep talk. Forget about the small talk. I do deep talk. The dimensions and layers, if you were to watch this one or two or three or four times, co-executive producer, what, what we need, I've got the goods, but I need your help right now. Um, having to come in in the priority situation because of said winter distress signal problems. Um, also, because I'm getting better. So I need to get as quick as possible inside a house to sleep in as near proximity to you as possible. So you and I need to find some time to become co-executive producers of hashtag Breaking Brilliant. We're going to use the 3 by 5 index card in the video. Go hand them out, right? Next time we go to Carmel, we can try it out. You know, who wants to invest? I, um, I have my website. If we could get me um, in side and a bigger computer I do have my website so we can have make a web page right and um, ultimately I, I just don't have the technology resources to do anything I can't one finger type a theory of everything a philosophy of everything from consciousness outward there's nothing in the universe. Again, my, my theory of consciousness explains why the universe is expanding. And it explains why we are 99% genetically similar to chimpanzees and bonobos. 97% more human. And that 3% of identifying ourselves with our species and not committing genocide just at the flick of a... Bye, bye. We don't want these people. No need to these people. All 8 billion of us are the pinnacle of evolution so far. Each one of us is crucial to saving our species from self-extincting. You don't know where somebody's going to play the role. They might just give birth to, as we like to talk about, that proverbial kid who could solve cancer. Well, I'm the proverbial 54 and a half year old who has done it and can't get anyone to listen to me. Theoretically, I am revamping how we think about chronic disease. I have done the evolutionary logic from autism to chronic fatigue to fibromyalgia to MS to Parkinson's and back again to lupus and... What causes these disease, and this is this is a complexity you're gonna you're gonna have to triangulate with me, is an epigenetic environmental toxin that also causes an unmitigatable stress response, i.e., the fact that everyone tells me I'm imagining that smells are making me sick because they are breathing through their mouth, hence not utilizing their sense of smell at all, probably unable to use their nose at all. Just tone their glasses up. This is, this is a huge civilizational problem that nobody's tying to any diseases in it can have some acute consequences, but mostly it's a layer that's almost always pro prevalent 
on a, on a spectrum in most chronic conditions. And I'm not done. I got posture to talk about. I got sleep to talk about. Simple, basic aspects of human functioning. The general zeitgeist in the U.S. of hypocrisy has got them dead wrong. It's killing us. What we do to put those 40 hours into cubicle captivity, what, to put these physiological pinnacles of evolution so far, mentally and physically, cubicle captivity does for humans what zoo captivity does for wild animals. There's no zoo running right now that isn't, you know, proud of how enrichment, uh, they're getting the environment right, they are giving the animals what the animal's intelligent demands, but we're not getting the environment or the demands of human intelligence any consideration whatsoever. In fact, we're expecting humans to work in more and more and more polluted environments and less and less and less rich environments. Join me, hashtag breaking brilliant, where we use the pleasure principle of evolutionary logic to both theorize in a Nobel Prize quality manner while we're changing bodies to be able to live the brilliance. The body has to be physiologically optimized. This is not physical fitness and our seeing is believing. Physiologically optimized is Stephen Hawking. What he had, that brain still got to go. He, whatever it took, as much as his body went through, his love at a black hole situation kept him alive and vibrant. In circumstances that many of us be like, no, we've been out long time ago. You find that thing that turns your brain on, the, 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 the environmental triggers that receptor size your brain into like, oh, I, I, I want to, this is why I'm alive. To be the globe's original philosopher of bioelectromagnetism. You can't get me to stop thinking, talking, do it. And it's come damn near to the precipice of killing me. On to save y'all from self-extinct and run them thought experiments as only a philosopher could do. Does she Einstein a consciousness? Wants to teach the world to think in perfect harmony. Let's get me a Airbnb investment stat. A few other sponsors some cannabis, some physical therapy people who, you know, because we're going to do it together. We're going to just film a little bit each other, just a little bit. We're just, we're just, we're setting it up. We're, we're doing the pitch to run our own TV series, Netflix streaming special. What Breaking Bad, Diffa Albuquerque, hashtag Breaking Brilliant can do. Who around the Monterey Bay? It's, it's a bidding war. Who, who, who's who's going to benefit? Am I going to have to go north to Santa Cruz? Or will the citizens of Pacific Grove realize it takes a village and get us started? I got, I got, I got making new jobs in Pacific Grove. Good jobs. Entercation, the hashtag Wellbeing Philosophy Institute, is a research think tank. I'm going to make documentaries. We're going to do get out there, get the word out there about this new vision. If the bioelectromagnetism, it, it answers all these things we don't have answers for now. And once people start getting answers for things they don't have answers for, what the human brain is going to do, how many things get fixed in ways we can't foresee. We're also going to make artisanal capital for autistic humans pay autistic humans to follow their special interest and let them info dump, we'll fix the world individually and collectively. Hashtag breaking brilliant. Whereas the men make meth, this woman wakes wisdom. Harmony.